Create this dynamic KPI chart with me in Excel in two minutes. You need the items you want to track going across the top and your status going down the left. I went with an incomplete pass and failed. But those could be whatever you need. Pause to catch this if statement. But it's saying if the total score equals the score on the left, then put a one in that spot, and that's the image that's gonna show in your chart. Next, we inserted a chart. We're going to delete the title in legend and then let's right click on the bar to format. We need to make a few tweaks here. We want the gap width to be down and then the series overlap to be to the right so it's 100% in zero. These need to almost look like they're overlapping. Then let's go up to insert icons to get our images. I went with an X, a dash, and a check. But you could go with whatever makes sense for you. So let's just check the ones we want and hit insert. They're going to be black. We are going to need to change the colors. So let's separate these to them easier to work with. Next, I want this to be more of a dashboard look. So I'm going to uncheck the grid line, and then we're going to click on these and go up to graphics format. This is where you can go to change the colors quickly. So I'm going to change this black to a red, because let's say the X is going to be a poor score or a fail. The dash is going to be incomplete, so that could be more neutral at a gray. And then let's go with a green for the check, because that's a pass. So once we have this all set, we're going to move on to our next step here, where we need to copy these so that it's on the clipboard. So you can control C, let's right click in format. You need to match up to the appropriate scored item. And let's click on the picture here for the fill. Repeat this step for each one. So control C to copy and then go to fill and click on the picture and then clipboard. And the last one here is going to be the check. And that's going to automatically do all three of the last boxes here. So let's click right, right click in format, fill, and then picture. Let's close out of this. Now we're going to need to resize this most likely so it looks a little bit better. Looking pretty good. Next, I'm going to insert a row or two here and add a title. If you have a lot of other things you're going to add, I prefer to add the title at the top versus on the chart. Let's just do some formatting here and then let's delete these. Click that left axis and delete that as well. And then you can delete those grid lines by just pressing on them and right clicking to format or double clicking. Let's move this right on top. Looks great. Like and follow for more tips and tricks.